in the dock for the horrors committed upon an entire nation, three men, now all in their 80s, who were at the top of the Khmer Rouge regime. Nguyen Chia, known as Brother Number 2, the chief ideologist and right-hand man to Brother Number 1, Pol Pot. Kyo Sampan, a former head of state and the only defendant professing himself willing to testify, and Yang Sari, the former foreign minister. His wife, Yang Tirith, who was social affairs minister, was last week ruled unfit to stand trial owing to dementia. Prosecutors said they helped order and orchestrate the brutality of Pol Pot's Cambodia, millions in forced labor camps, hundreds of thousands tortured or killed, countless more succumbing to starvation or disease, in all between 1.7 and 2.2 million deaths. No exceptions were made in the execution of this senseless, brutal crime. Those who resisted were threatened, beaten or shot dead on the spot. The UN-backed court, instituted in 2006, has so far cost $150 million. It secured one conviction, that of Kang Gyuk Iv, known as Doik, sentenced to 19 years for the deaths of 14,000 people at S21, the notorious prison which he ran. But for victims and their families, the seniority of the defendants in this case raises the stakes. I want the court to find justice for everyone who was killed, so that they can live in peace in the next life. What I want is the answer to the reason behind the killings. What was the cause of the genocide? But it's far from clear that such answers will be forthcoming. Nguyen Chia has vowed not to speak at all, and there are fears that he and his ailing co-defendants might not survive to see the conclusion of this complex case. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera.